It's very futuristic with all these LED lights. I can perfectly stand and I am perfectly comfortable. The features that you can see on this truck is mind blowing. Hello, I can tell everyone. Some... Welcome back to another video. We are very cold. We are today in Xiantang, Hunan province, and we came for a special occasion. Today is a Verizon Auto Day, and we're going to learn about some of the most striking and cool products from the brands, including the new Hum truck. This is a new energy heavy truck that will be unveiled today, and we're gonna learn some of the coolest features of this truck. So let's wait no more and go inside. Verizon is a leading new energy commercial vehicle brand in China. The brand's core technologies are self-developed with a focus on pure electric solutions to achieve zero emissions capability. The company became the first commercial vehicle brand to produce and launch methanol-fueled heavy truck. They have established the largest new energy commercial vehicle research institute in China with 2,000 research and development engineers around the world. And it is right here on this stage where this model will be unveiled. Actually, you can see the picture of the hump truck and the lines assess the one to the future and it's because the brand is trying to focus on these new energy utilitarian vehicles focused on the future and I think that is one of the coolest characteristics about this brand how they want to produce more and more new energy vehicles to make it more environmental friendly. Humtruck is a new energy intelligent luxury heavy truck but maybe the tech we find in this vehicle is one of the most impressive that we can see nowadays in its category. It will be able to utilize L4 hands-off autonomous drive functions and hardware sensors such as LiDAR, millimeter wave radar, ultrasonic radar, 5G and V2X communication. The hump truck will be fully capable of upgrade over time using over-the-air software upgrades. We are right now at the cabin. The amount of technology and features that you can see on this truck is mind blowing. I can tell since the steering wheel, the door, the different screens all around, it looks absolutely beautiful. We have five screens in total, which shows all the different details that you need when it comes to driving. We have also a lot of cameras and sensors, a lot of storage, which is really important when you are doing this job and driving all around the country. This is the back of the truck and here is where you can find some of the most astonishing features. We're going to start here with this built-in shower where the driver or whoever is using the truck. You can tell it's very spacious actually. I mean for the truck it's quite spacious. Here you have other features and amenities. We have here little sink where you can like brush your teeth. We have also an induction a stove here. You can close like this. We also have a little microwave on top. Some of the little different controls for the vehicle. We also have here some uh, kind of storage that you might need when you're driving around. If you wanna store maybe some like clothes or some different kind of utensils for cooking. This is like a kind of a bed where you can take a rest. And actually you have a double deck bed if you have two people who want to rest. So this is the way you deploy the second part of the bunk bed. This uh, second level for a second person to also have a rest. If you want to have more space, you simply push it up and then it will just adjust like this. As I say, I'm 180 and I am perfectly comfortable laying down here. I can perfectly take a nap and even uh, overnight sleep will be uh, perfectly comfortable 
in this place. So you have also a lot of USB uh, connectors, uh, plug connectors to connect or charge your computer, your phone. Here, you can have some drawers. This is actually a fridge where you can store several items like drinks or other things if you want to cook on the way. So there are a lot of different kind of features that makes very comfortable to use and drive this truck. I also like the different kind of materials they're using inside. It looks very modern, very good build quality, actually, I have to say. here instead of the traditional mirror we're gonna have some like a screen with some cameras that will show me what is right behind me what is happening which is actually very comfortable because we have uh, inside the vehicle so if it's uh, external conditions like rain or snow it will not be blocked by these uh, factors outside instead of that we have a very clear screen with the cameras outside that is showing me how is the traffic behind me we have two angles we have a regular one and then we also have a wide angle or ultra wide angle actually that shows me a bigger space of what is happening right next to me and again most of the comfort that you can find in these kind of vehicles are in the back as we explore before uh, the different options that you can have for resting cooking taking a shower so i think throughout the time all these kind of commercial vehicles allow more and more options to guarantee a very comfortable trip some of the biggest features as well of these kind of trucks it comes with a connectivity we're talking about the horizon satellite system that will be connecting all these trucks uh, the road the cargo the enterprises the drivers so it will be all connected to guarantee uh, safety and efficiency when it comes to transportation i think that is a very clever integration of different factors using all these new technologies nowadays And precisely looking into the future, we have here right behind me the Catless Hum Truck, which actually looks very futuristic with all these LED lights, but that's not the best feature. The best feature of this is, as you can tell, there's no cabin. Of course, there's no need for driver because it's an autonomous driving vehicle that is able to do basically the same task as the original Hum Truck, which is carrying a lot of uh, cargo weight in the back. So it has a lot of very cool features. As is but I would say uh, right now because it's still a prototype it looks absolutely beautiful very futuristic as I said and all the capabilities that this vehicle has for the future are just stunning and really amazing there are nowadays several companies uh, investing an important amount of money um, when it comes to new energy vehicles and Verizon is one of them. They are uh, trying to keep a big focus on renewable energy vehicles, green energy vehicles, environmentally friendly cars, and in this case, utilitarian vehicles. We were talking about trucks, buses, uh, vans. Supervan is another of the great surprises that Verizon is bringing to the market and that we had the chance to try during this event. This van is a new, highly customizable modular commercial vehicle designed to satisfy the requirements of different urban transportation scenarios. With a modular commercial architecture, it allows a complete decoupling between car body and chassis, leading to a better vehicle package integration. The company uses renewable and biodegradable, environment-friendly materials in the production of Supervan, in an effort to reach the brand's full life cycle zero carbon goal. I do like a lot the design line for these new models of the super van. Actually, you can tell how good looking and modern they look. Some of the best features for this super van, entering and putting different kind of items inside the van, you have a lot, a lot of space. You can actually open these two doors and because there's no any kind of structure in the middle, it's easier to put different kind of items and things inside the van. And this is the other version for the super van. It's a little bit taller, a little bit bigger, and also offers the same amount of comfort when it comes to space. And actually, because it's taller than the previous one, and can perfectly stand in here and 1.8 meters 
tall and I'm just perfectly standing inside. This is a three row seat, this version, but of course, as the previous one is very customizable, also offers a lot of storage space in the back. Very comfortable, modern and good looking. I like this one as well. This is a Verizon Hump Truck. And right after that launching event over there, we're ready to get inside the cab and do a driving test all around this area. This is a fully electric version of the Hump Truck. And I'm super excited because actually we're gonna have the experience of feeling how it is like to go around in this beautiful beast. Okay, here we go. Oh. Of course, we're gonna have a qualified driver to take us all around because we don't have the driver's license for this kind of vehicle, which is needed to drive heavy truck like this one. This is the fully electric version and we're experiencing very steady and very quiet ride. I'm super surprised because of course, when we talk about heavy trucks, we see very noisy vehicles. That's not the case with this one. Of course, we're talking about a uh, green energy vehicle that is using, this is a fully electric vehicle, but they also have methanol, uh, which has uh, an engine. So probably it's a little bit noisier. The whole cabin is super silent as well, which uh, makes the trip even more enjoyable. Also, we have the central panel as um, any regular vehicle where you can control the different function of the vehicle. Uh, you can see the weather as well. You have a lot of information that will be useful for the driving experience. You can control the music, you have maps. the experience of driving the Horizon Hum Truck. It's been very nice so far. As I said, I would love to have the chance to try more features of these vehicles. If you want a more detailed review of this vehicle, let me know in the comments down below as usual. Uh, leave the comments. Remember to subscribe and like the video if you haven't yet. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.